Welcome, you have arrived at It's Landed. I'm doing a little bit of uh, exploration at the United States Antarctic uh, Program website. And I pulled up the South Pole Station webcams. And they have camera images there. And this is of the ARO building uh, camera. So let's go check out what they, uh, you know, have here or will let us see. It would be great if uh, they could focus on, on the sky, too, in this particular area instead of uh, covering all this ground and just a little bit of sky. It would be nice if we could um, have visibility, you know, to see more of the sky. So let's check out what they will allow us to see. This is very strange here. These little doodads. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. It doesn't uh, appear at uh, the other photos, at the other, you know, captures that they present to us. Here it is. I don't know what's going on here. That area seems to be brightening up. I don't know what what that is about. Maybe it's wind blowing the snow. Who knows? And these faint objects. And here they scatter about. Specifically, this one is really. Uh, we could see that a lot clearer. There looks like some matter to it. We don't know what this is, and they seem to fade away. There, there, there. And here they are again, and they're all blipping around. <laughs> this one seems to be lightening up a bit, and this area too. So, if you know, I, I see a reflection here. So, I, I, I just don't know what these uh, things are and why they would scatter out like that. If anybody has any information on this, uh, please uh, provide your comment at the bottom of the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Note, camera images are often obscured due to harsh and unpredictable weather conditions. The South Pole Station is one of three, three year-round stations operated by the National Science Foundation, NSF. The other two United States Antarctic program stations are McMurdo Station on the Ross Island and Palmer Station on Anvers Island near the Antarctic Peninsula. Amundsen Scott South Pole Station sits at the Earth's axis on a shifting continental ice sheet several miles thick. South Pole is a unique research site that supports projects ranging from cosmic observations to seismic and atmospheric studies. The extremely dry cold air is perfectly suited for observing cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation, the faint light signature left by the Big Bang that brought the universe into being nearly 14 billion years ago. Maybe perhaps those um, objects or that I saw it could possibly be that who knows but 
it certainly did uh, appear to have some matter to it. Back to the article. Another large astrophysical uh, project at the pole is IceCube, a one cubic kilometer international high energy neutrino detector built in the clear ice 1.25 to 2.5 kilometers below the South Pole Station. Amundsen Scott South Pole Station, dedicated in January 2008 during the first year of International Polar Year IPY, begins Austral Summer operations in October of each year. The station typically remains in a summer operating mode until early February, at which point the eight-month long winter season begins. At an elevation of 2,835 meters and in parens 9,300 feet, South Pole has an average monthly temperature in the austral summer of minus 28 degrees Celsius and in parens minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit. In the austral winter, the average monthly temperature is minus 60 degrees Celsius and in parens minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. To find out more about life at U.S. Antarctic Research Stations, see the Around the Continent section of the Antarctic Sun.